Hi everyone, Stephen Daniela here, Holistic Health Coach and Founder of Team Euphoric. Today I'm going to be taking you through some progressions on the Swiss ball for the squat pattern. Before I get started, just a quick reminder as usual that if you would like to obtain a copy of this board, I will be uploading a picture of it onto our Instagram account as well as our Facebook page, so be on the lookout for that. I will also be including a link in the description box to our Instagram account as well as our Facebook page. Now let's get started with the actual progressions. The first in the 12 progressions is going to be the prone jackknife with the Swiss ball support under the chest. For this exercise, we are going to have two Swiss balls. One will be under your feet. The second Swiss ball will be under your chest for support, as the name states. You are then going to place your hands on the side for stability. You are going to tuck your knees towards your chest, inhaling, and then exhaling as you bring your feet outward. So inhale. And exhale. The second of the progressions is going to be the Swiss ball supine hip extension with your feet on the floor. For this exercise, the ball will be under your back and you are going to keep your knees and hips, knees at 90 degrees, hips, you want to keep your hips elevated, you don't want to sink your hips. You are going to squat down to the ground and then you are going to exhale as you come back up elevating your hips as high as you can. So you inhale, down to the ground, exhale, and as high as you can. And make sure that you really extend your hips on the way up. The third progression is going to be the prone jackknife. This time we are doing it without the ball supporting under our chest. We are going to inhale as we bring our knees in, exhale as we come out. With this exercise it's important that we don't sink our hips down to the ground or shoot our hips way too far up. From our head to our butt, it should be one straight line. Also, when you bring your knees in, you don't want to start rounding out your back. If you round out your back, you went too far. Make sure that you keep that natural curve in your spine. The fourth progression is going to be the Swiss ball wall squat. For this exercise, you're going to place the Swiss ball around your mid back. You're going to inhale as you squat down as low as you can, and then exhale as you come all the way up. So you're inhaling, squat as low as you can, exhale, come all the way up. The fifth progression is going to be a single leg supine Swiss ball hip extension. For this exercise, just like the supine hip extension, the ball is under our back. Only difference is this time we are doing it with a single leg. We're going to lift one leg up off the ground. You are going to squat down, and then you are going to come up making sure that your hips are fully extended. You don't want to sink your hips down into the ground. So you are lifting your leg up, making sure that hip is nice and elevated, and then you are going to inhale as you come down. Exhale as you extend the hip. If that exercise is a little bit too difficult, you can also grab a dowel rod or broom handle on either side and use it for extra support once you feel comfortable, you can remove the dowel rods and do it without any support at all. The sixth progression is going to be a single leg Swiss ball wall squat. Just like the wall squat, the ball is behind our mid back. We are going to lift one leg up off the ground. You are going to inhale as you come down to the ground. Exhale as you come up. So you're inhaling, going as low as you can, exhaling as you come up. The seventh progression is going to be a kneeling squat on a Swiss ball. For this exercise, we are going to go with our hands and knees. So we are going to be in a four point position. Slowly start to roll your hands. That way you can get higher up into a squat. Once you are into a tall kneeling position, you may then begin the exercise. You're going to inhale, come down as low as you can. Exhale, inhale, go as low as you can. Exhale. Our eighth progression is going to be a static deep squat on a Swiss ball. For this exercise, we are going to again get into four point position. We are then going to bring our foot onto the ball, keeping our hands between our feet and our elbows between our knees. We are then going to quickly bring our second foot up onto the ball. When you feel comfortable, remove your hands and you are going to hold this position. This will take us into our ninth position, which is standing on a Swiss ball. Once we are able to stand on a Swiss ball, we are going to do this for up to one minute. When you can do this up to one minute, this will take us to the next, pro next progression, which is squatting on a Swiss ball. So we are going to inhale 
as we come down, exhale as we come all the way up, inhaling, coming all the way down, exhaling, all the way up. Our 11th progression is going to be jumping onto the Swiss ball and going into a squat position. For this progression, place your hands on the ball nice and close together. You don't want them too far apart. You are going to take a nice deep breath in and you want to land both feet at the same time on the ball. So you're going to inhale, jump, squat, inhaling as you go all the way down, get your butt as low to the ground as possible, exhaling as you come up. If you are at an advanced enough level to perform the final progression, the 12th progression is going to be a pistol squat on a Swiss ball. A pistol squat is standing with one leg, squatting down to the ground, and then coming all the way back up. If you're not at that level yet, you can use something to hold on to while you're on the Swiss ball, come all the way down, back up, and perform that until you are able to perform it on the Swiss ball without holding on to anything. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you saw today, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great content. And next week, I will be taking you through some Swiss ball progressions for the bend pattern. Thanks, and I'll see you again next time.